was brought to you by Earth. On YouTube, enhance and mobile advertising on Facebook. Says do is do these here and we're going to change the way I'm going to plan my card. And panel over to here, over here, and I'm doing musky ones here, ones here, and water. Because Robert went through his seed so far, we only found one pack of seed. But three in each, these two, four seeds. Get a lot of this. Now, in down here this area is uh cleared last year I had a flat uh plastic I grow them up the side. Put a hole in the center three seed. From what I heard with the watermelon seeds it was the same way so I'm going to clear the, that away, get all that cleared away so that the seed itself will grow out of there. I'll make sure that it's healthy and I'll be planting. Right now, I'm just uh, selling the 25 seeds and 50 seeds in the bulk, I guess you could say. Okay, this is Canada Park. It's a uh, six Southern Illinois. I might have to reseed these. I've got some of them. Three, four. Okay, this is five, six. There used to be some growing here. So, I think it's taking a to get out big. I know for sure that I lost three of them. Two over there, two over here. A lot of these did grow out, so I'm going to reseed them. Do that here before long. Yeah. The reason why I'm going to do it is because uh, I've been at these for exactly three weeks, so I'm not going to waste time so that I can have grown. I've waited three weeks, a couple of days over. Now, I go ahead and uh, receive some grain. So, that's how that is. Oh. 
probably because of all the heavy rain we got. But this is watermelon. I still don't know how to identify grow. It doesn't look like very much pop. That might not be worth it. So, then hopefully something does. Be wrong. It is May the 31st, 2019, and 6th, Southern Illinois. Okay, June 26, 2019, Southern Illinois, Zone 6. After a few uh, pretty harsh range right with the week. Way. This is what it looks like. So. These are starting to come on good. And those are coming up too. Now these are getting up like they were over there. But it's taking a little time. And that's what it's doing. All these are doing all right. They completely got submerged in water. They seem to be still growing. And I to transplant this one. It's right there. And I think a bird had its way. I figured I would show you that. This is what they're doing. And these are coming along. So I just wanted to do an update on cantaloupe bird. Did you guys see it? It's July the 19th, 2019, in zone 6, southern Illinois. This is an update. And it looks like. Excited, I'm going to. Do it from the other side where you get a better look for a different angle. So far, we have uh, six of them. Yeah, these are Robert's uh, sweet melons. They've been popping really close together in shallow dirt. But no, these are real sensitive. Right, it's June the 5th, 2009, zone 6 in southern Illinois. So it's some of those. I to <laughs> try to transfer. Um, waiting until that piece of fur leaf here about all the way or up. I'm going to go ahead and wait before I transplant uh, or before I put any seeds down in the At least five minutes. Hold off the before I do it. And again, I'm going to transplant these here in which this area got flooded out. So I have three spots open there. And that's the fourth one. And the fifth one right there. Now, possibly, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I probably will, but I'm going to do these two. These were supposed to be those mini watermelons, which uh, Robert wanted to put down. But go ahead. But or those sweet. Most of got a couple of uh, cantaloupes already. This is I'm up and on to the I 
want to show you how I'm doing. Uh, you know, last year I made a mistake with the first vertical, trying to take a row rapid around. Instead of doing that this year, I did the other way around. I'm taking the line, putting it around the row. It grow up. It's just basic training. And that's that way I can get it. All right, today is June the 16th in Southern Texas. This is, uh, like I said, first day though. The transplant was successful. It arrived just like this one. This one was just like this one. It's been raining off and on for the last few days, so that should help. I, that's one transplant. And I'll show you uh, got a couple more uh, over on that side. And then I have two of them down here. These two rows right here. Are my uh, the hybrids? This is sweet melons. All three of these, actually, all of these going along this way and back that way. It's sweet melons. These four are um, cantaloupes that I grew last year. And you can see the you see one hanging right there. Now these are hybrids too. Those two. We've got. Three, four, I believe we got four of those. And the other day, I actually had one pulled right off. They're coming up pretty good. That's kind of sagging there. I can reinforce it. I want to test out the wood, see if it's strong. It is July the 21st, 2019, Zone 6, and so I want to also show an update a stray a melon vine that ain't growing around our upper coat. Actually, two vines. So to show it to you guys and keep it. Alright, it's July the 21st, 2019, Zone 6, Southern Texas. So, this one had this is last one. So far, it seems to still be. These are doing pretty well. Now, this whole area actually got washed out <coughs> with flooding and We've had literally just kind of freaking first it was a golden mark and then April, May we just went flooding pulled all the off and I ran this one sweet too. It's doing so well. But so far I'm waiting for this one. Waiting for this one to get bigger. This one's finally bringing out a stem. Now, when I do these, I've got to tell you that I had to literally train every single one of them all the way up. So, when you get into it, you have to train them, not just onto the string, but up this way, all the way up there, and make it all going on there. And if these tentacles, I call them tentacles, they get stuck in grass or something, 
that. Don't worry about breaking them off. I've done it plenty of times. And it's never hurt the plant. But I've literally had, it's July 31st, 2015, Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is our first two right? Let's count. We have this one. It's a little bit of a to it. This one and basically what I've been doing since the camera. So these are our first uh, two ripeners. We're going to do it today. It's July the 31st, 2019, in Southern Illinois, Zone 6. This is the first of the cantaloupes, the melons we grew last year in the melon garden. It, uh, seen, or it popped off on like it's ready. It doesn't really appear like it is ready. But it did pop off. I put the finger on it. So even though it came off that easy, I'm still going to set this on the refrigerator for two days and give it time to ripen. Just in case. Even though it did come off the time so we could set it to the Brought it up here. Put it on or put it on video. This is the first of just so you guys know uh, you have to pull on early. That's perfectly fine. Get infestation for any problem like that. Here. Hurry up, get them off. Perfectly fine to do it. Set them down. Put the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Set them on the pipe. It'll be just fine. So, that. You guys are Okay, it's August the 1st, 2019, in Southern Illinois, Zone 6, they pick uh, three more vegetables. <clears throat> this one's a little bit small, you can see, but I didn't think it was ready. These two didn't pop up. I didn't pick so take a chance of exploding. They are getting pretty big. I had that happen last year. Did take pictures. Keep you guys updated. Keep track. Just want to open them up and see what we can inside too. August 4, 2018, six. Get Pretty good. Up right up there. So, have to take it out early. It looks pretty healthy. So, figured I would get it. Get your stage, everybody, and get it. I'm going to open these up too here before I show you what I'm 
that first. Yeah, I wanted to uh, show you guys how we see them in the last year. It's see in the water through there. Yeah, I wanted to uh, show you guys how we see them in the last year. See in the water through there. Oh, at that. Okay, so we shrank it. This is what we shrank it in, and <clears throat> this is the backward mirror to the outside. You can see. Okay, now what I do is set it up here. <clears throat> These are the cantaloupe pieces that the cantaloupe uh, grew last year. Also got musk melons, honeydew, I guess. Okay, sorry that I can't show you as I do this uh, two hands. I don't have a camera. What I do usually is now take a lump, I do it separately. I put it in a pump, spread it, let the sun run, let them out all day, let them dry. Why not get it back and back on the tree? That, I want to go to uh, get them off here with the container, just to slide back and back. This is basically. Good. Like I was saying, these are the cantaloupes that are growing seeds that back last year. So, sweet beans. I guess that's the type of so, Those are some of the show you. Okay, yeah, it's August 4th, 2019, so we don't this. It came off. Size. And we already lost seven. I'm uh, making the most of this. Uh, my dad, I don't know what they are. They're hybrid. Or he said he's seen one. He's seen them there. So, also oh, one of dad. You know what they are, you know. I want to go melon here. Go by can. Yeah, I want to cut it all. I want to do it. Yeah.
<clears throat> uh, other uh, uh, honey too. was brought to you by Earth on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.